automation in FL Studio is a bit of a bastard. Let's be honest with ourselves. So I thought I would start by giving you a tip that I have on automation. I might make a couple of videos on this because as I mentioned, automation is a pain in the ass when it comes to using it in FL Studio. So uh, the first thing I thought I would do was show you how you can manipulate the the points on the automation clips so that so that such that it's easier for you to um, navigate between the two different values. Okay, so what does that mean? Let's think of an example. I'm just going to play just a loop. You can't see actually it's on a different screen. So I'm just going to loop this back just a couple of bars. And then we're going to maybe pam on insurance. I haven't really decided yet. Let's go. Okay, cool. So let's say we want to, um, let's say we want to automate the, the ARP. And we want to, I don't know, we want to pan it. We want to pan it from the middle to 100% to the right. So let's do that. So if we go right click, create automation clip, and then that'll create an automation clip on the playlist. I have to make sure I can't use my shortcuts on here because it's going to cut the video off. All right, playlist, cool. That has created an automation clip here. And as you can see, it kind of starts in the middle. It doesn't really make any sense. If you if you look at the top right here and you drag the point, it's a it's a percentage. Oh, I was pointing at the screen then. It's a, yeah, if you look just right here, it's just a percentage, which doesn't really mean anything to us. So what we want to do is we want to say, right, okay, I know that I want to go from naught to 100% for right panning. So what you can do is if we go on to, this is going to be a pain. Okay, so this right click here, let's just reset that to zero. Right click and go copy value, hit copy value, open the automation clip in the, the step sequencer and then paste the value on the minimum. So essentially that means that the minimum amount the panning can be is 0% centered. And then because we know we want it to be 50%, we can move this to 50% or move it to 100% even. Copy that value, copy, just reset that back like that. And then go back to the automation clip hit max paste there. So that means that the minimum it can be is zero centered and the maximum it can be is 100% to the right, which means then if I drag that all the way down and I put that all the way up, slowly move up to 100%. So let's just test that. Just look down here. So this technique for me works best when you know, you kind of know exactly what you want to do with the automation clip and you, you know, you want to get from A to B and you know exactly what that's going to be. It saves you then having to faff about getting this to like the 50% mark to make sure it doesn't start panning to the left. And as you probably know, if you just slowly move the mouse down, I have to struggle to get it to 50%. At the moment it's 55. Okay. It's 50 there, but you may, you may want something a bit more specific. So for me, makes automation much easier in FL Studio um, if you optimize the use of the min and max values in the automation clip here. Cool, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you like this video, I might do some more automation tips because there are definitely a couple of other methods of improving how the automation works in FL Studio. And of course, please comment, like, and subscribe and check out other videos on my channel for more tips in FL Studio, Bitwig, and many more. Thanks for watching. Peace.